A bright flash lit the skies above China's Gobi Desert, not from fireworks, but from a rocket carrying a dream shared by two nations. China's Kinetica-1 rocket has just launched Pakistan's first hyperspectral imaging satellite, marking a leap in Asia's space partnership story. This isn't just about sending another satellite into orbit. It's about unlocking new ways to observe our planet and build the foundation for the next generation of global cooperation in space. When the Kinetica-1 roared to life at 11.33 a.m. from the Jiuquan Satellite Launch Center, it didn't just carry satellites. It carried proof that China's commercial space sector has entered a new phase of global competitiveness. Developed by CAS Space, a subsidiary of the Chinese Academy of Sciences, Kinetica-1 has quickly become a reliable workhorse for small satellite launches across different clients and continents. The rocket itself is an impressive feat of compact engineering. 30 meters long, 2.65 meters in diameter, and weighing 135 tons at liftoff. It can carry up to 1.5 tons of payload into sun-synchronous orbit, about 500 kilometers above Earth. That's the perfect altitude for Earth observation missions like the one it completed this week. This was the ninth successful flight of the Kinetica-1 series, maintaining a 100% mission success rate. Across its flights, the rocket family has delivered 73 satellites into orbit, weighing a combined total of more than 9 metric tons. What's even more remarkable is that CAS Space is doing this while expanding its customer base far beyond China. In November 2024, the company launched a satellite for Oman, its first foreign client. By August 2025, it had already orbited seven more satellites for Latin American partners, including a pair of ultra-small femtosats. Now, with Pakistan's HS, one on board this ninth flight, CAS Space has officially positioned itself as the only Chinese commercial launcher currently delivering foreign payloads. The Kinetica 1's solid fuel architecture makes it fast to prepare and efficient to deploy, ideal for small and medium satellites. Its modular design allows for quick reconfiguration depending on client needs, from radar observation to hyperspectral imaging. It's also paving the way for Kinetica 2, a liquid propellant successor that aims to reduce launch costs and carry heavier payloads. Kinetica 2 is expected to play a vital role in launching Qingzhou cargo spacecraft, designed to supply China's Tiangong space station. For Pakistan, this launch is much more than a technical milestone. It's a defining step towards space self-reliance. The HS-1 hyperspectral imaging satellite represents the country's most advanced Earth observation platform to date. Developed by the Pakistan Space and Upper Atmosphere Research Commission in collaboration with the Innovation Academy for Microsatellites under the Chinese Academy of Sciences, the HS-1 blends cutting-edge optical science with practical applications that will directly benefit millions on the ground. So, what makes hyperspectral imaging so special? Unlike standard satellites that capture color images in a few wide bands, a hyperspectral sensor divides light into hundreds of narrow spectral segments across both visible and infrared wavelengths. This allows scientists to detect subtle differences in vegetation health, mineral content, air quality, and even the moisture level of soil. In short, it gives us a much more detailed fingerprint of Earth's surface. The HS-1 will monitor natural disasters, track glacier movements, and help assess the impacts of climate change across South Asia's diverse terrain. It can also support precision agriculture, deforestation detection, and urban infrastructure planning, offering a level of environmental insight that was previously out of reach for local scientists and agencies. The ability to collect high-resolution data across hundreds of spectral bands is crucial for timely decision-making. When floods or droughts threaten, or when a city expands into green zones, hyperspectral data can highlight changes before they become visible to the human eye. That's why this mission is being celebrated in Pakistan as a transformational leap forward in data independence. Beyond the science, the HS-1 project demonstrates how international collaboration can accelerate national capability. While China provided the launch platform and engineering support, Pakistan scientists designed much of the analytical framework, ensuring that once data starts flowing, it will feed into national monitoring systems and policy planning. This partnership isn't about dependency, 
It's about knowledge transfer and shared progress. The HS-1 gives Pakistan control over a valuable information source that enhances its capacity to respond to environmental and developmental challenges. The HS-1 launch is just one chapter in a growing story of China, Pakistan cooperation in space exploration and technology. Over the past few years, the two countries have steadily deepened ties in multiple areas, from robotic missions to human spaceflight training, turning what began as technical assistance into a mutually beneficial strategic partnership in space innovation. One of the earliest milestones came in 2024, when Pakistan's first CubeSat was included in China's Chang'e 6 lunar mission, a historic flight that collected samples from the far side of the moon. This event marked Pakistan's first contribution to an international deep space mission, symbolizing its ambitions to go beyond Earth's orbit. Then, in February 2025, a landmark agreement was signed between China's Manned Space Agency and Saparco, paving the way for Pakistani astronauts to train for future flights to China's Tiangong Space Station. This initiative marked China's first ever step towards selecting and preparing foreign astronauts for participation in its human spaceflight program, a major gesture of trust and collaboration. Now, with the successful launch of the HS-1 satellite aboard the Kinetica-1, the cooperation extends to joint development of advanced Earth observation technologies. It's not just about sharing rockets or orbits, it's about sharing expertise. The partnership covers satellite design, data analytics, and even the future use of AI-driven image processing, the same kind of onboard intelligence already used in China's latest AirSat X-band radar satellites launched in the same mission. These two Chinese satellites, operating in sun-synchronous frozen regression orbits at 505 kilometers, use a lightweight radar system with a Cassegrain dual-reflector antenna, a first in China's space industry. They feature interferometric SAR measurement capabilities and onboard AI processors, allowing them to achieve imaging resolutions better than 0.5 meters. Together with the HS-1, they represent a complete package of multispectral and radar sensing that can observe Earth across all weather conditions, day or night. Looking ahead, CAS Space plans to introduce its Kinetica 2 liquid propellant rocket, capable of heavier payloads and lower launch costs. This will further enable international satellite constellations and expand China's role as a key player in global commercial space logistics. From the Gobi Desert's launch pad to mission control rooms in Islamabad, the Kinetica 1 mission stands as a symbol of how far international cooperation can reach. It united advanced engineering, scientific curiosity, and shared environmental goals under one sky. China's expanding commercial space power and Pakistan's growing technological confidence both shine through this partnership. In the end, this isn't just about launching satellites. It's about launching a new model of collaboration where space becomes a bridge for innovation, learning, and global progress. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.